Anita, this comes as cities and towns across the country remove Confederate statues, such as this one in Kentucky. Demands to remove these monuments are coming from Black Lives Matter protesters. Nationwide demonstrations continuing now into a third weekend, including another right here in Newport, where hundreds marched through the streets, demanding change in the wake of George Floyd's death. Eyewitness News reporter Brittany Schaefer spoke with protesters and joins us now with what they're saying. New tonight. Well, the protest started in Miami <coughs> Park and then ended at the Newport Courthouse. Organizers tell me these protests need to continue for change to happen. From Newport's north side to south end, dozens of protesters took to the streets to spread the message of equality and Black Lives Matter. It's just a start. This is just the beginning, but um, noise is being made. Sisters Michaela and Lanier Chapman organized Saturday's rally for human rights. They say the city is divided and they want to change that. It's like a tale of two towns, like it really is. Like we don't like going down there by ourselves and people aren't comfortable coming here. And I just think that's important for me. It's just to blend the two. The Chapman say Newport police and the city were helpful when organizing the event and supplied a stage and sound equipment. Mayor Jamie Boba tells me she fully supports the movement. Using um, our officers, they uh, are going to be helping block traffic so that the marchers can safely march because while it is a First Amendment right to be able to protest, we want to make sure that we're not just looking at it from that perspective. We're looking at it from the perspective of being supportive, making sure we can do whatever uh, we have available to make it uh, as best as it can be. This is the third weekend of protests in Rhode Island since the death of George Floyd on May 25th. Chapman says the push for change needs to continue. We're dying every day. I was like, and if George Floyd wasn't the beginning of when we started dying, it just kind of got the attention we needed. And um, I hope that they keep these protests up every day, every week until like noise is really being made, and especially in Newport. Um, we grew up here, like there is a lot of racism in this town as well. And Mayor Boba tells me she is dedicated to listening to the community and looks forward to making systemic changes to better Newport. I'm Brittany Schaefer, Eyewitness News.